Hello everyone and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be converting the extra harvest house I have on my paleo plot into a warm and cozy tavern. Let's get started. The first thing that I'm gonna do is basically go in and put all of my large furniture. I am making the bar area by putting the homestead sideboard in the back there and then flipping these homestead floor cabinets around to form the L shape of a bar. Then I'm placing down some stools and then the industrial shelves are where I'm going to have some barrels and some bottles, which you'll see me put up in just a little bit. I made so many bottles for this build. It was actually wild. So I'm connecting all of these industrial shelves so that they kind of look like they're just one long L-shaped shelf. And then I'm putting the large tavern table over here with some chairs. I wanted to put one chair kind of halfway out because I really want this tavern to look very lived in. So a really quick and easy way to do that is to kind of have your chairs be a little bit uneven and catty corner. And then I have the other tavern tables that I'm placing around. These are the log cabin dining tables. I have three of them that I put out. Here's where I started to fill in the shelves. So I'm putting barrels all around the top. Then I'm putting all of these bottles in and I'm making them a little bit unevenly spaced. Some push more towards the back and others. Again, I'm just trying to make it look pretty natural and pretty lived in. I don't want anything to be too linear. These are all the Homestead tall bottles. And then I use the customization bench to turn them into different colors. I also put a couple of the Homestead thick bottles on there just to kind of break up the monotony a little bit. Then I decided I wanted to put this pillar here just to kind of visually separate the bar area from the rest. It kind of blends into the wall, but it's okay. I filled with a few of the extra little decor pieces that were on the shelf, put a waste basket down, and then moved in the bar just a little bit because I feel like it was a little bit too close to the door. Here I'm placing the log cabin stools around the rest of the log cabin dining tables. I have two stools on this one and then the rest of the dining tables have three. The best way to place these stools is honestly to get rid of the grid. You have so much more flexibility when placing chairs and stools next to tables if you get rid of the grid. That way I was able to make them look a little bit less rigid, a little bit more natural. I thought the end of this shelf looked a little bit empty, so I added in a mug and a carafe. And all of this was the fun part. Now that I have the big stuff done, I'm doing all those fiddly little decor bits that I love so much. Of course, we have to have a loot. It is a tavern after all. I love these fireplace tools. They look perfect right there. A lamp, a tea set. The name of the game here is making it look lived in, like I said before. So I did put out a lot of food. I wanted it to look like it was in the process of being used. And in order to give it a more warm and and inviting feeling. I also wanted to make sure that I had a lot of different light sources all around. So I was putting candles down. I was putting lamps down. Back here behind the bar, I'm just putting a lot of dishes and things like that. I assume that these would be like the dishes that the bartender or the innkeeper were using to serve the food at the bar. I'll show it to you in just a little bit, but the reason why I wanted to turn this into a tavern is this room actually connects to a kitchen, which is my group cooking kitchen. So whenever I have people over to cook, that is the kitchen that is set up to take visitors. And so I thought that it would be really fun to have this area be a tavern kind of like a little destination, a little spot for visitors to come and hang out in. I think my favorite thing to do when I'm decorating is the wall decor. So I have the Cernuk bust right there. I put a little plant in the corner. These maps are probably my favorite item in the entire game and they are perfect for a tavern. For those of you who don't know, these maps are rewards that you get for finding every treasure chest in Kilima, gets you the Kilima map, and then every treasure chest in Bahari Bay gets you the Bahari map. And like I said, I think they are just absolutely perfect to have in a tavern. I'm placing down a couple rugs just to warm up the place a little bit. I wanted everything to have tones of browns and reds, so we just put a couple of different rugs out for fun. And then I decided to add a little bit to the back of the bar. I got this fruit basket and I put it out just to add some color there. I feel like it was looking a little bit 
monotone. The little pop of color in the fruit basket, I think really adds a lot to the back there. And then just adding in a couple of little extra pieces and I started working on filling in the tables. This was definitely the fiddliest part. I wanted to have on the tables a mixture of dishes, food items, and other decor items. Of course, the makeshift charcuterie board, which I was very lucky to receive recently in a waterlogged chest has to be featured prominently. I think it's perfect for a tavern. And this part just gets really fiddly. It's a lot of me putting down stuff and moving it around in incremental bits until I like the composition. I wanted everything to look a little bit even, as in there's not one side of the table that has way less stuff than the other side of the table, but at the same time, I didn't want it to look too rigid and formulaic, so I wanted it to look a little bit haphazard and natural, but at the same time, it's like very not natural because I am very painstakingly placing everything. It takes a lot of work to make something look like there was no work done at all on it. Let me know in the comments what your favorite food is to have as a decor item. I think for me, the steak dinner is perfect because I love that it comes on the frying pan. I think it looks so cool and so unique. And then I also really love the pan dumplings. I think those look really cool out on a platter as well. I don't have them here, but I do have them outside in an area I'll show you in just a little bit. But the hot dogs, I think they're called something else, but the hot dogs look pretty cool too. Then we're placing the lamps for some light. Two different lamps, one on either corner of the tavern. Fiddling around here a little bit more, I just was not happy with this table and I decided to add in another food item. So I put down a blueberry pie or an apple pie. I can't remember which one, but one of the pies there. And there you have it. I think once I had every single one of these items, it took me about an hour to do, but I will say that the amount of pre-work that it took to do this was a lot because I had to gather all of the materials. Now this room is still a work in progress, so don't judge it, but I did wanna show you my kitchen slash group cooking situation. I have a bunch of stuff right there. I do plan to decorate it a little bit more in the future. And then I didn't record myself decorating this area, but this out here is the tavern patio. So the door leads directly into this patio where I have more seating, more lighting, etc. Thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day. You can join my Discord where we have groups that play Palea together all the time. And you can also watch me stream Palea on twitch.tv slash I hope you have an amazing day. Bye.